Hey friends, Kendra here with Kendra All for Him Ministries, and I'm so excited to bring you your weekly devotion this week. It's Exodus 33, 14 in the ESV. Really simple, but very powerful. He said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Period. <laughs> That's so good. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Um, you know, sometimes I think in this journey, we try and run this race by ourselves. You know, we try and do it in our flesh. We kind of have our own ideas. We try and, you know, finagle through things, come up with strategies, accomplish more. Oh, and that's exhausting. And I can testify from years of being in a works mentality where I did to feel like I belonged. But God is just saying, in my presence, I will go with you. And what does that mean? It means it's an invitation to come and abide in his presence, to rest in his presence, to invite Holy Spirit into your life, into your day to co labor with you. You guys, um, I testify about how there was a season of my life, like I was in works, I was scheduling appointments every 15 minutes, and I was overwhelming my team, my staff, myself, and my family. And I and the Lord so clearly came to me and he said, Ken, quit inviting me, quit planning your day and inviting me in. He said, invite me in and I'll plan your day. And you guys, it was like this aha moment of like, wow, I'm really running in the flesh. And even in that season, he was giving me prophetic words and he was giving me visions about me getting before him. And he was just really trying to slow me down and change my mindset and my heart to know that I could trust him, that he is faithful, that he already knows the plans and he knows what he's doing with me. And so as I began to have that transformation in my mindset and in my heart that I wasn't doing things to earn his love, but now I was sitting in a posture of where I was doing things because of the love of the father, because he loves me so much. And I come from a kingdom perspective and I rest in his presence um, that as I abide in him, there's just such deep rest. You know, sometimes when we hear the word rest, we think we have to sit down or we have to be laying down or we have to stop. You actually, as you um, allow God to, to tandemly work with you, as you co-labor with him in his presence, you actually will be doing, but in a, in a posture of rest. There's no more strife. There's no more, I have to get this done. It's like, Lord, what are we doing? How are we going to do this today? What do you need me to do? Who's the one before me? What is the purpose of this day? What is my assignment? And then I get to co-labor with him and walk in this beautiful assignment and co-laboring with him where it's no longer a hard press. It's just, what are we doing today? Do you know that every day you wake up, Papa has a plan for you. And the question is, is will you allow him to speak and allow him to guide you into this journey where you have this contentment, this peace where you're not striving and, and, you know, like I was just talking with my son and we were talking about, you know, getting up, doing your job, eating dinner and going to bed. That's not how God wants you to live your life. He wants you to come into relationship with him. And as he guides you and co-labors with you, that you get to listen and respond and be on this incredible, beautiful journey. And when we can get to that place of abiding in him and walking this journey with him, there's this perfect peace. So I want to play rest over you that you would sit, you know, maybe you do need to just chill out and sit down and rest in his presence, but invite Holy Spirit into your day. Just ask him this in the morning when you wake up, what are we doing today, Lord? My question always is, Papa, what are we doing today? What is our assignment for the day? Do I have a schedule with things in it? Absolutely. But in a moment, if somebody were to walk in and they needed relationship, they needed time, God is all about people. He's all about love. He's all about relationship. That my day is flexible, that I can allow God to move and me to be available to be the hands and feet of Jesus. So I want to bless you in your week. I pray as a habitation, invite him in to, to walk your day with you. And watch that he won't show himself faithful as you get to rest in his presence. And I promise you, you're going to accomplish way more. You're going to be surprised. God bless.